um, take y'all into the greenhouse and show y'all what we done. Look how good that green stock is going. Those strawberry plants are awesome. The pepper plants are good. I've even got the sugar snap peas coming up, which is awesome back there too. Um, my peony, I don't know what's going on with it. Um, I asked you guys, if y'all know, I covered it back up because it appears to be dying. And yeah, I don't know what's going on. I bought some more. I think I'm gonna do them in pots. I got some more pot and soil. I need to get these other trees in the ground. I put these so I know what flowers I have here. If I can get them back in with one hand. There we go. What I've got planted in there. And they're doing okay. But, what I was going to show y'all. So, when we went to get feed, we also picked up some more baby chicks. So, we have, there's eight little leghorns and we left um, the two last ones that had hatched in here with them and they all seem to be doing okay we have uh, I think four days left for the four to attempt to hatch in the incubator so we'll walk over and I'll show you where and how the bigger ones are doing that are the French Bressy crosses. I've already taken care of all of them today and the big chickens. And these chickens are making a lot of noise, but see, they're all in there. And they seem to be doing well. I hung them a light. I took the light out of the chicken coop itself to put them a light in the nighttime. Open that up only for in the daytime so they can get some air and sunshine. And they've been on top of the box already, but they're doing fine and growing. So, a few more weeks. And this way they get acclimated to the big ones too. In a few more weeks, they can come out on, on amongst the big ones. But, yeah, they're still little compared to the big ones. And they're all in here in the afternoon together when I call them in so they all get used to each other. But yeah, they like, they like it. Doing good. And then we'll rotate them. But yeah, I took the light out of inside the coop and put it over here for them. And um, everybody's doing good. Um, so let me knock down my leghorn stick. But is it, see how they've kind of cleaned up that grass? And here he comes, of course. Every time I come in here, he has to come. But, um, yeah, it's looking nice over here. And, um, I still want to move these fences in. Leghorn, come on, man. Don't do it, man. Don't make me mean to you. But we're going to back out real carefully he don't hurt you he ain't jumping up to hurt you if i don't fall down he just i don't know what it is hadn't figured it out yet so um what we're now what we're planning on doing you can see how weeded it is a little bit in that flower bush not i mean flower bed not a lot i need to get in there and just pull them little up things by hand and i noticed when my sister was here the butterfly bush at the root isn't all the way dead so yay thank you lord jesus and i don't know what we got going on in here there's something planted here and there was something planted there and i don't i just see oak little oak things coming up there but we'll keep an eye on this but uh, i'll keep an eye on the baby so the plan is this is the plan justin rhodes um so the Jason, I think, of so the land. Um, um, Ben over at Holler Homestead. 
Um, I'll use what they call a chicksaw. I'm not for sure about being Ben may be a chicken tractor, but I want to make a chicksaw. And um, if I can find a picture, I'll insert it. But a chick shawl, that way, I'm thinking, take all the new leghorn chicks, leghorn, Karen, and the other leghorn out of that flock, and put them in this um, chick shawl, which can be moved around out here. And they'll still have a fence. I'll take two fences, one of the fences from here, and put it around that chick saw and then be able to move it and they basically I'll, I'll still give them um, some feed and stuff but they'll get to forage out here and help keep all of this down um, and you know even out there in the grass and help me keep me from mowing but that's uh, the ideal and today what I think I'm gonna do is plant this other side I need to get in there and take up some of the weeds and some of this stuff that's growing up but I think I'll plant this other side and I got some what did I get onions sweet potatoes and dang let's just go look because I can't even remember I, I did get me some more peonies but I think I'm gonna start them in containers this time so I can keep them regulated in the greenhouse but I got some white peonies and some, this is the color of the ones that I've already planted that seem to be done. This is, I had some of these, the white ones in Virginia. So, oh, and garlic. So I got garlic, some sweet potatoes and onions. And I don't usually, I've never had a whole lot of luck with the stuff that I buy from Walmart, but I said, what the heck, so we'll try it. Plus, I'm going to go ahead and start a, a flat or two and start some squash in there and some other things because I'm going to start some plants for my sister. Um, my squash plants are doing good. Everything else is doing good. As you can see, I took the board down because it was windy and it kept blowing down, so when it rains, I'll put it back up. But, um, yeah, the baby chicks... They're all doing good, just like the white ones. These are taking care of the little ones. So, um, uh, yeah, I'll get back and um, I don't know when they. I got the plans for my son, and average price was like almost eight hundred dollars to make it. So, I think we can make it a little bit cheaper because lumber prices have came down. But we shall see. Um, so. <laughs> It'll be a while before these need to be turned out. So um, that's going to be a project that's put on the to-do list so Brooke can build. Because she's wanting to build something. So that's going to be the building project. I like to build too. So anyway, I've been having trouble um, with my storage. And most everything I video, I do on my phone. And for whatever reason my storage and I haven't even got very very many videos because I delete them off my phone after I upload them to YouTube so um, that's why I didn't make a video in the last couple of days the other one was from I think Friday when I finished up uh, weed eating and some burning but um, I tried to you know make a video every day the girls were here this weekend and it was real busy going to the feed store. If y'all seen how much feed, we, I mean, the whole back of my sister's pickup truck between me and her is is packed. So, um, had both girls checking on the neighbor's cat. We stayed up there for a while um, Saturday afternoon. And then Sunday, Brooke went and rode. And me and Lacey went back over there and hung out with the cat for a little bit. But, it, it, see, they... And I hadn't decided what the tallest one is. I think, I can't remember which egg she came out. Maybe with one of the New Hampshire Reds and that Blue Lace Red Wayne Dot Rooster. I'm not for sure, but it sure is getting tall. 
and the babies are pulling out the, it looks like the little fur feathers. Anyway, so if there's a delay in the videos getting uploaded, now y'all know why. And I'm also today, um, I think Shane has another ball game. And um, y'all let me know if y'all like to see their ball games. It gets kind of chaotic when they're both playing, but Shane has a ball game tonight. The twins have a ball game tomorrow. Then Shane has a ball game Thursday, and then the girls have a ball game Friday. They had a ball game last Friday. I went to, I did film because my phone was messed up, and they actually won. So y'all let me know in the comments if y'all like seeing their softball games. Um, it's just something I do. I mean, they're all really good ball players. And, um, you know, I don't mind sharing it, but uh, if y'all don't, you know, really aren't interested in it, just leave me a comment and let me know. I'm not saying that I probably won't post as many of them, but I'll probably still post them. But anyway, there's the, our newest. And it's so interesting, you know, we, I should have probably quarantined these to take care of the others, but that day was hot and we were trying to get them out of the box and they, everybody was in here. The other five uh, French Bressies were in here. They were all in here together and the French Bressies didn't hurt them. They took care of them just like the other ones, but I figured we'd let these feathers get more developed before we move them over there because I don't want to take a chance of them getting too cold. So, if y'all like the content, give us a, hit that thumbs up button. Takes like, half a second. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, we encourage you to come over and subscribe to the channel. And uh, leave us a comment and share it. And hit the notification bell. Do all those things. Um, we appreciate y'all more than y'all know. Y'all have a, a great Monday. Bye.